Pisces, my beloveds. What's up? So Pisces, let's jump into your person's energy and see what are they hiding from you? Kind of what you need to know, what's not on the surface, those type of things. Let's see what's really in your person energy that they don't want you to know, Pisces. Beloved, what is this person hiding from Pisces, please? Was this person in the military? I'm hearing left, 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 right, left. Alrighty. But spiritual strength always oh, taking everything in them to be strong. They are trying their best to awaken to what they're experiencing. Awakening to, oh my goodness, this person is that same person I'm picking up right away that this person is very connected in the spiritual realm like this isn't a person that doesn't know like about spirituality about Buddha God Allah whatever but they they are very spiritually grounded they may have grew up with a grandmother a grandparent or something like that that taught them or um different um forms of re i don't want to say different forms of religion but depend upon their background their grandmother or mother or something like that was a very spiritual person and they embedded this in this, them this person is very spiritual at the end of the day um a lot of times they may not show you this pisces because this is what's hidden but this is a very um spiritually grounded person what people do behind closed doors you'll be shocked okay so what else conflict and defeat because of because of i i got two different stories because of their spirituality they have dealt with a lot of attacks against them they've dealt with a lot of heartache a lot of pain a lot of um envy a lot of jealousy like this person is someone that's always tried and always um someone who's resilient who overcomes what i also get though pisces and this is very strongest right now this is how this person is feeling in this relationship with you they're feeling very very defeated like oh my goodness if i could just you know make something possible if i could just turn back the hands of time if i could just be the person that pisces need me to be if i could just see them talk to them be around them like this person is going through it but they have they have people that cheer from for them from the other side like i said this person is very spiritual whether you know this or not pisces destiny Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so this person has different, okay, I mean, in a sense, this is kind of admirable. So this person has de depth to them. D-E-P-T-H, depth. This is the per a person where as you peel off the layers and you dig in deeper to who this person is you'll be amazed at what you find um you'll find how how um smart this person is how spiritual they are like how how they're informative and they know all this information and they're wise and they're they're like a provider and they like are strong like they just have all these different attributes like yeah you have to peel back the layers of this person in order to know that this I'm getting this beautiful wrapping, you know, this beautiful person inside this wrapping, Pisces. Okay, let's see what else. What else does Pisces need to know, please? What else does Pisces need to know? What else does Pisces need to know? Thank you so much. Spiritual gifts, I'm hearing. So this person has spiritual gifts. Ooh, we, the lovers. I only want you to love. I don't want nobody else. <laughs> 
When this person loves, they're like you, Pisces. They love deeply. Like, I feel like, I feel like this person, Pisces, was sent to you, heaven sent to you for you to learn something from them. Like this connection that they have with you is a divine connection. This is like a twin flame connection. It's like, you know, the things that irritate um, you about them or the things that irritate them about you are the things that's within each of you. It's like, um, it's like, oh, this is a beautiful analogy. So it's like this. One day God called the angels into heaven and he said, you know, I need, I need some volunteers to go down to heaven. I mean, to go down to heaven. Oh, Lord, forgive me. To go down to earth, to be earth angels, right? But here's, here's the catch. You won't remember that you're an angel. You won't, um, I know Pisces like what, but, um, you won't remember you're an angel and, um, you won't have any recollection. You won't, um, possess any financial wealth or anything like that, or, you know, whatever the, 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 the terms and condition was. So, you know, there was angels in heaven that raised their hand to come down here to heaven. I mean, to come down, well, maybe it is heaven on earth with Pisces, but, um, yeah. So some angels were in stay hand to come down here on earth, to be angels on earth. And Pisces, I'm not sure if you both are angels or you both are angelic beings or what happened or what this is here, but somebody in this relationship is them damn angel, <laughs> okay? flat out and if this is your twin that is why it was you know that story of god called the the angels into heaven was told okay oh 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 pride and ego but this card just says ego and this is what's keeping this person trapped and they probably won't tell you because they got too much um, pride to tell you. Uh, yeah, Pisces, you know, you hurt me real, real bad. Or Pisces, I just don't understand why you're doing this to me. You know, like they'll probably tell you like that, but they won't tell you the, the deepest parts of them and how bad this really hurts. Like, oh, here come another analogy. <laughs> So the bird in the cage, right? So um, how do you catch a bird, right? You plant little seeds here and there. Because somebody needed to learn the lesson about love, right? So you plant the seeds. And, you know, you plant them all the way. Let's say this is the, you know, the cage or whatever. So you'll have the seeds just, you know, leading up to the cage. So, you know. Once the bird's in the cage, you can go ahead and shut the door on the cage. This is what happened with this person, okay? This person tried to avoid love, tried to avoid being honest and, and, and being being who they were created to be. They had to like go through like this period of, of hurt, of pain to realize, oh, by the way, I guess I'm love too. That type of energy. Yeah, there's that. That's how long it took them. Forever. With this night of earth card. It took them forever to realize this. Like, um. Pisces, this is something that they hold on tightly to now that they have it. And now they know what it is to experience it. It's like, oh my goodness, this, oh, this is love. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is kind of what they hide from you, Pisces. What else does Pisces need to know? What else does Pisces need to know, please? That they're hiding. Mm. Interesting. Pisces, are they having kids on you? Does this person got some kids? 
outside of the relationship or some a newborn baby or something like that Pisces but maybe someone who's a friend or something like that someone they could fight it in someone that they told you was their cousin or something like that Pisces but um this person's waiting for that call hands down they ain't gonna tell you how bad they waiting but this is how it goes so they you know they're around their friends family members you know everybody's talking hey pisces person are you here with us yeah i'm here you thinking about pisces again no i'm not thinking about pisces not but then let me look at my phone did pisces call me no Pisces ain't call. It's three 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 on the clock, Pisces, by the way. But um no, nah, Pisces ain't call me. Hold on, wait. Let me check the block list. Maybe I got Pisces on the block list. No, Pisces not on the block list. I wonder if Pisces, you know, do Pisces think about me? I should call Pisces. I wonder Hello, are you here with us? Yeah, I'm here with you understand what I'm saying, Pisces? Like they get zoned out thinking about you. Like what else? What else does Pisces need to know about this person, please? What else? Beloved, what else does Pisces need to know about this person? Daydreaming and I'm thinking of you. Daydreaming and I'm thinking of you. <laughs> so this person daydreams about you, like, and people are starting to take notice. This person trying to be in denial and be like, no, I'm not thinking about Pisces, but oh, yes, they are. Another sign just had that daydreaming energy. I'm not sure if it was Capricorn or who it was. So the Emperor and the Knight of Wands. So Pisces, you could be dealing with the Aries. But oh, oh my goodness. They better not be hiding this. I promise you. But I can't help but to see it this way. I swear to goodness. Now Pisces. You see the emperor? You see that damn rifle he got? When I lay the cards down. Let's see if I can get the cards right. Where is it pointing? It's like pointing at her damn head. This person better not be that obsessive. You know how passion turns into obsession? I'm hoping this person is not this type of person where their passion is turned into obsession. Because if it turned into obsession, then that's a dangerous game to play, beloved. Dangerous. Oh, yes. The seven of wands and the nine of wands. Let me see what's been going on here. So let me get this straight. P Pisces. All they want is you. And they might be in search of you, looking for you. Maybe they went through a maze and everything. Like maybe they being led to you or something. I hope this person ain't in this energy over here because this energy over here is a little scary. Let me go ahead and clarify. The lovers or the two of cups. Oh, the two of cups. And uh, the six of swords. Mm. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna get too deep in this energy because you can speak things into fruition and I just don't want to go there. Okay. Let's see what else this person um, wants to know about you. But I know it's time for some new tarot cards though for me. It's time for me to create some new tarot cards because, uh, yeah, sometimes there are situations that I haven't been able to find tarot cards I speak of but let's see here what else does Pisces need to know go ahead close out this reading oh my goodness and you're the only sign that got this so this person thinks that you guys need to let each other go and the minute they start to think that Pisces is the minute they back 
I love you. And I want to feel that way again. So the minute they think that you guys need to let each other go, the minute that they think like, nah, I love Pisces, like... I want to feel that again. Like, I've never felt that before. Like, Pisces awakened something in me. Yeah, Pisces, this is your twin flame. I, You know, it's scary. And I'm going to say this, and then I'm going to leave it alone. So, the twin flame journey, you have this, uh, this obsessive thinking that I feel like is the energy this person's kind of in. And I hope that they are awakened and spiritual enough to understand what all that's about, where the, where they have had answers that's revealed it, answers that let them know, like, hey, why is the peacock over there blowing? There's no air in here. There's a peacock feather in here. Whatever. But I hope they are enlightened enough to know about the twin flame journey and what this obsessive thinking is about so they don't think they are going crazy, you know? <sighs> but Pisces That's the reading I have for you You know Got a little heavy there But either way Thank you guys so much for watching Please make sure you like Share and subscribe And I'll see you in the next reading Take care